Here we are at Worldcon uh, 70 in Chicago, Illinois, and I have uh, George R. Martin and uh, Ron. How do you pronounce your last name? Donat? Donacci. Donacci. That's how I was going to spell say it, but I didn't want to make a fool of myself. At any rate, um, these two gentlemen are uh, George is the. Uh, writer of the uh, Game of Thrones uh, it has been made into the popular movie. But why don't I let you introduce yourselves? You can tell more, far better than I could. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm George R. R. Martin, and I am indeed the author of the uh, fantasy series, The Song of Ice and Fire, which is the basis for the HBO television show Game of Thrones, now filming its third season. And I'm Ron Donaghy, I played Sir Roderick Cassell in the pilot and in series one and series two. I'll be here this weekend at Tricon uh, to accept the Hugo for a best dramatic presentation should we win it. And as you can see, <laughs> we have indeed. <laughs> it has been a d done deed. It's a done deed. <laughs> uh, so tell me, sirs, uh, could you tell me a little about your background? What led you into the field you're in? Now, I've been writing since I was a small kid. Uh, I've always just loved making up stories. When I was uh, living in the projects in Bayonne, New Jersey, I used to write little monster stories and sell them to other kids in the neighborhood for a nickel. You know, buy awesome. Me a candy bar. Or two nickels would buy me a comic book. Things were cheaper in those days. So, uh, I don't know, it's uh, something in my blood, uh, making up stories. And thankfully, it's worked out so I've been able to make my living making up stories. And uh, you can't have anything better than that. That's an awesome. Uh, it's very much the same for me. I've been an actor for over 30 years now. It's, uh, it wasn't something I really ever prepared for. It was something I kind of fell into sideways in a way that uh, you could back then. Uh, but you know, since I became involved, I've never really wanted to do anything else. And I've been lucky enough to, to work on some really great things, uh, most especially Game of Thrones, which has been a real, a real high point for me. Very cool. Um, I know you're going to have to take care of other people as they come and I don't want to keep you long but can you each give me a little uh, anecdote or something interesting weird and wonderful that maybe your fans wouldn't know about that uh, related to your lives your movie or um, just something that you might that your fans might find interesting and don't know about well, let's see. Uh, I had a cameo in the uh, pilot of Game of Thrones. I was a guest at Daenerys Targaryen's wedding uh, with a, a giant hat on and a big set of brass balls. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we recast uh, uh, the part there, and, and my, my brilliant acting debut was left on the cutting room floor. Aww. Otherwise, I, I might be giving Ron some competition here. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. Uh, well, I guess uh, Roderick Cassell is a continuation of a line of uh, unfortunate masters of arms for me because I played a master of arms on the Titanic in the uh, James Cameron movie as well. Of course, he drowns and freezes to death. Uh, and Roderick Cassell, as everyone knows, comes to an unfortunate end in the Game of Thrones as well. So, note to self, avoid masters of arms. <laughs> very, very cool. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And from Chicago, Illinois, with Worldcon 70, this has been The Weird Review. Thank you very much, guys. Welcome. Pleasure. Weird. Hi, Ted. That's it.